Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to well, don't make quite a secret collection. I said at the end of Divinity Original Sin 2 that I was gonna last play this, but YouTube decided that the final episode was not good enough. And by that, I mean, what happened was the episode was fully uploaded, and when a video is uploaded to save space on my computer, I immediately just delete the video. And I closed the, I closed browser and all that, because usually it will just process in the background. So that happened, and it turns out the video didn't even give me a warning saying, "Hey, the video is not uploaded." It's basically said it was uploaded, but then I had to re-upload again, and I already had to lay the file empty my recycle bin and clear out the storage and all that. So the last episode was lost, unfortunately. But Honestly, you guys saw how the playthrough of Divinity was going. Basically, the final fight was piss easy. It was like a one turn kill, I think. The only difference I've shown in the arcs was that I got the one that I mentioned in the original playthrough. We do is you go talk to the dwarf, he'll tell you to kill his father in law, you want his father in law about this, and you go to that house and kill the quest giver. But enough about that. Basically, one day, HD collection, three games. And you know, options, credits, all that stuff. We're going to be playing through one of the games for now, and then later on down the line, I'll be playing the other ones. We're going to, but I'm going to just say we're playing this in chronological order. We're starting with Dolby Cry 3, which is considered the best. But I do want to give a bit of a preface. I already tried recording this last play. I'm now playing on my Xbox. And why is that? Well, I got as far as episode 4 and found out that on PC, the HD collection is literally just a bunch of emulations that run poorly. Like, generally, during cutscenes, you could hear the character talking, but no subtitles would appear, and it turns out like 10 seconds later, the subtitles would pop up, so cutscenes were lagging behind by literally, uh, by literally like 20 seconds. So I got as far as episode 4 and said, fuck this, I'm playing as an Xbox. So, we do a whole let's play, basically. We'll have to do a whole let's play. But it gave me a reason to hook up the Xbox again. But I am going to recommend do not get the HD collection on Steam. You would be better off playing the game through an actual emulation, because it's free, you're doing the exact same thing, you can probably make it one better. But enough about that, the way this let's play is going to work is every single mission is going to be its own episode. It will be like this for some of the Devil May Cry games, probably not for all of them, especially Devil May Cry 1. You can literally clear Devil May Cry 1 in like 2 hours. Not even joking. Because <laughs> it's missions that take like 20 seconds, but enough about that. I'm going to shut up and let you guys enjoy the opening cutscene. First of all, if you hit a new game, we're just going to turn off the tutorial. I'll explain what happens. And there are two differences. Gold and yellow. Basically these are your revive systems. In gold, if you have a revive item and use it, you will just get straight back up into the fire. Whereas in yellow, you will restart the room you died in. And then with gold, if you can revive and die, you can hit continue and you restart in the room. Whereas yellow, you restart the entire mission. We're playing on gold. You've heard of it, haven't you? The legend of Sparta? When I was young, my father would tell me stories about it. Long ago, in ancient times, a demon rebelled against his own kind for the sake of the human race. With his sword, he shut the portal to the demonic realm and sealed the evil entities off from our human world. But since he was a demon himself, his power was also trapped on the other side. I never believed it. I thought it was just a child's fairy tale. 
But I discovered that this so-called legend wasn't a myth at all. Sparta existed. How do I know? Well, I met the sons of Sparta. Both of them. Though the same blood of their father flowed through their veins, the two battled each other fiercely like arch enemies. It seemed as if they derived some sort of twisted pleasure from this brotherly fighting. Sorry, not open for business yet. I haven't even picked a name for this joint, and I'm already getting calls. You a customer too? Well, if you want to use the bathroom, help yourself. The toilet's in the back. Is your name Dante, son of Sparta? Where did you hear that? From your brother. He sent this invitation for you. Please, accept it. Invitation, huh? He's getting crazy. Let's rock. Ended up. Oh. Wow. My voice got caught there, but 
That's a crazy party our first mission has begun. First of all, we're gonna go into the customized screen. There are all sorts of different things. We're gonna start with style. Basically, you have four different play styles so you can change every mission or every time you go to a checkpoint, basically. They all do various things. Trickster, all about dashing around the arena and avoiding enemies. Wall running, the works, all that cool stuff. Swordmaster, basically, more sword attacks. You get a mid air attack and a spin attack while on the ground. Absolutely fantastic and pretty much my favourite style of the game. You'll probably be seeing it the most. Gunslinger, all about, well, giving your guns extra attacks. You can mash X to fire your two pistols quicker. Or you can shoot two different guns at once. They don't say it here, but you can also press B while in the air to do basically a downward shot to keep you airborne for a tiny bit. And finally, World Guard. It's all about defense, basically. You can lock onto an enemy and press B to send damage back to him after you've blocked enough attacks. Fair warning, I'm shit for World Guard. I might showcase that this mission. In fact, I will. I am terrible at World Guard, so you'll probably never see me use it. We've also got our weapons. Got Rebellion. The Keepsake Sword from Dante's Farmer. The Magic Blaze True Power hasn't been fully awakened. And Ebony and Ivory. First design handguns, rapid fire action. Very cool. Now you've got your items. Final Star. It basically. Like in the top left you've got that green bar, that should help. Green bar S will heal I think about 4 bars worth? While L will heal 8 if I remember. I could be one. Devil Star we can't do anything yet. A purple orb we can't use. It boosts the magic power. We don't have a magic mini yet but we will get one. Purple Devil Star will give you back magic power. Purple orb will increase the amount of maximum magic you can have. The Holy Water is a screen nuke. Quite fantastic. Blue Ward boosts your health by one segment. There's only there's a limit to how many you can buy. You can see in the bottom left, we got zero out of four. Every time we get four fragments, <coughs> you gain an orb. So you can only buy so many blue orbs and the rest of the health you have to actually earn. And gold orb. It can recall our souls. It's your revive option. If you die, you can use it. Action. These are all the skills that we can get for later on. There's nothing we can do with them yet, so we're not going to worry about them. And guns. You can upgrade your weapons. Is there a reason to? Not really. But let's get this fight underway. There you go. Red orb. He didn't just browse the curse yet. Now we might not even see World Guard kick off. There are ways to get people to play a World Guard. But I am not going to use Wargod that much because I am terrible with it. With Wargod, you know, you can just take the damage. But if you can't perfectly, you don't take that. As I should say as well, in top left, or oh, top right, sorry. You have the meter. Doing damage, on the enemies when they're on screen. They will increase it, they will basically guarantee more money. Ooh, green orb, nice. They heal you. There you go, we'll get that world guard as well. Hey, do your job! And it was something I didn't show. Kind of a shame.
Was I muted for that entire thing? I can already tell. Looks like this is gonna be one hell of a party! But there we are. Mission one clear. I don't know if I was me about the entire thing, but here's your wanky system. Based on all of you collect, the time it takes, the stylish points, damage you take, and of course items you use. We got an A wank, which gives us 3,000 red orbs for free. But I might be me at you now, entire face. So that's the two is gonna be me recapping episode one. Oh, great. But we're gonna say, like I said, every mission is gonna be a different episode. So mission two is actually not gonna be that long. But don't worry about it. So next episode, well, we will start mission two. So I will see you guys then.